That's right, I'm back. And I'm here to talk about plastic again. This is Amari Walker. And today we're gonna to talk about four easy steps that you can take to reduce your own plastic consumption in your home. Doing these steps is not only easy and affordable, but will also reduce the amount of plastic that is dumped into our landfills and our environments, causing havoc to our daily ingestion of microplastics and marine life's interactions with harmful plastics. So let's get to it. Tip number one, choose your clothing carefully. Most microplastic pollution is actually from our textiles. It's all about our carpets, our furniture, the things that we're wearing. If it's polyester, rayon, even those cotton polyester blends, they all count for over 30% of microplastics present in that ocean. And they're not only just showing up in our waterways, but you can find them in things like our tap water. What do I mean by choose your clothing carefully? I suggest that you look for things that are more 100% cotton or linen, especially during the summers, or if that's not a good option for you for certain clothes, try and find cotton polyester blends. Some studies have shown that there are less microplastics released when there is a blend of cotton and polyester. However, you also have to think about how much you're washing your clothes and if you're using detergent or not, if you wanna release less microplastics into your washing machine and into our waterways, you gotta use cold water and you're gonna to wanna to use either no detergent or mild detergent. If you still feel like you need to buy polyester or rayon or you know things that of course come with like stretchy pants, think about buying it secondhand so that it's not ending up in our landfill quicker than it has to. Tip number two, buy your food in bulk. A lot of the plastic found in landfills is actually from plastic packaging and containers like things we use for food. The more that we buy in bulk, the less plastic is being released into our landfills and our environment. Think about going to your wholesale club or places that allow you to portion out exactly what you need. Buying in bulk not only helps the environment and reduce plastic waste, but it's cheaper and more affordable if you buy in larger quantities. You might also want to consider storing your food in glass containers. We already know there's hundreds of chemicals in our plastic, so don't expose your food to it longer than necessary. Use glass containers or metal containers. Tip number three, it's time to let go of those single-use disposable plastic bags. Now you may have heard, depending on what state you live in, of 10 cent fees or entirely plastic bag bans. There are new regulations that limit the amount of plastic bags that you can use. There's a reason for that. Every year, more than 500 billion plastic bags are being used worldwide. Those bags, once they're used for their single purpose, they end up in our landfills where they can take hundreds of years to decompose. They can also end up in our environment where they're floating in our oceans because they're so lightweight and being consumed by marine life. Plastic bags are one of the most harmful plastics to the marine ecosystem, and they hinder our marine economic development. This hindrance has been estimated to be around $13 billion per year. Do your best when you go to the store to bring your own reusable bags or carry your food out with your receipt. If you really don't have the option, especially due to coronavirus, ask for a paper bag. For my final tip, one of the easiest things you can do to reduce plastic is get rid of the single use plastic bottles and cups. Get reusable water bottles, mugs, and bring them with you wherever you go and you travel. Most places will refill your cup if you're getting coffee from Starbucks, you can use their reusable mugs. If you need water or some kind of juice, you can use the same mug and just wash it out for any of your needs. This plastic bottle can take up to a thousand years to fully decompose in our environment. Around 80% of plastic bottles will end up in the landfill. However, because of the vast numbers that we're producing, a lot of them are ending up in our environment, on our beaches. The third and fourth most collected item on a beach cleanup is a plastic bottle and its cap. The cap is very dangerous because a lot of birds mistake the cap, especially if it's colored, for prey and consume it. Not to mention when you drink out of a plastic bottle, you are also consuming microplastics. If that freaks you out, think about the fact that all of those chemicals inside that plastic bottle have been sitting for months accumulating in your water before you consume it. 
just get a reusable water bottle and drink tap water. Now I know for certain places in the world, access to clean water is just not feasible or available. There are a few alternatives people are suggesting to using disposable water bottles, but a lot of study still needs to be done. Those were my four easy, affordable tips to reducing plastic in your life and in the environment. If you already knew these facts, that's amazing. Please continue to share this video with others who don't know. If you have other tips, please post a comment down below. We'd all love to inform ourselves on how to be better environmental warriors. Thank you so much for watching again, and I hope that you'll join this community of environmental warriors and subscribe to my channel.